A smooth and well painted ceiling adds the finishing touch to any room. When painting an entire room, first paint the ceiling, next the walls, and lastly the woodwork and trim. These are the materials you'll need. Firstly, a drop cloth and plastic sheeting, paint stirrer, moto pink to white ceiling paint, cutting in brush, paint tray, roller, extension pole, safety gear, safety glasses, cap to protect your hair, and old clothing or an overall, and rubber gloves. Paint your ceiling before you paint the walls, that way any splashes or splatters that land on the wall will still get painted over later. Prep your ceiling by washing and rinsing the surface to get rid of any grease. Scrape off any flaking paint, fill any cracks and sand smooth any lumps and bumps. It's a good idea to take off any fixtures and paint underneath, that way if you actually change your fitting at a later stage, you're not left with a big round circle of the different coloured paints. As with any new paint, always remember to give it a really good stir for around about five minutes. We're going to be using this Moto pink to white paint. Now this is really nice because it actually goes on pink, so you can see exactly where you're applying it onto your white ceiling, and as it dries, it goes white. Perfect. Okay, we're going to start our cutting in now. Remember when cutting in corners, it's always best to use a brush and the roller is just not going to be able to cover over the intricate edges and the sides. If you don't have a cornice, then always allow 100 millimeters extra overlap so that when you do roller on, you make sure you cover over the cut-in area. Remember, if you are painting the entire room, we don't need to mask up the area, but if you're not going to be painting the walls, you might want to actually cover the walls up with plastic and mask it off. So that way you're not going to get any of the ceiling paint onto your walls. Again, don't panic about the pink ceiling, as it dries it will turn white. Cut in the corners all the way around the ceiling, and don't worry about not covering everything because you're going to do a second coat. Okay, now we've got the easy part. We've got our paint on our roller, we've got our roller pole. We can stand back and just roll our ceiling. A thin coat will ensure there are no drips and runs. Work from one side to the other, walking backwards to avoid any splatters on the already painted surface. Allow at least two hours for the coats to dry before you put on a second coat. Depending on the colour of the ceiling beforehand, we'll decide whether or not you need a third. Remember, if you have any queries or need any help with how to paint your ceiling, go down and see the guys at Builders, they'll be more than happy to help you.